Hey, so I'm taking precautions for people that don't want to be spoiled, so I will tell you that this is a giant topic circulated after part 5. That's the best way to say it. So, spoiler alert. Now, there are many things in JoJo that haven't been given enough information. We have the highlight of this specific case, alternate universes. Now, I would like to get to how Made in Heaven works, but that's another video that I would like to get down to the science of it, so I'm only going to circulate around our given topic for now. JoJo has it to where part 6 goes on into part 7. These being two separate universes, now if we're gonna get even deeper, then these are three separate universes. What we have to believe our prime universe, the universe where Emporio is, and then there's the part 7 and 8 universe. Prime meaning main, the universe that anything happening after is nothing more than just an alteration. This specifically does not include dimensions, that itself is an even deeper topic. Jojo has it to where only one universe can exist at a time, but dimensions do not follow the rule that the franchise gives. We have only one universe, and connecting to what Made in Heaven had done for it makes sense. The process of the alternate universe has it to where the original universe is a vanishing point, where the step before it was the end of it, and then there's a big bang which would be the best way to put it in easier terms I guess. Then the next universe is created. But I I have reason to believe that somehow, not now, Araki will explain to us how the universe that Emporio is in and the part 7 and 8 universe will connect somehow. The way he does that, I'm unsure. He's possibly going to rewrite the universe's alternating due to only one way or he's going to have to have another antagonist or something that has a certain ability of possibly of changing the universe in some way. Also the reasoning I have not to believe that part 7 and 8 is not connected is due to the years that takes place in part 6 and 8 and due to the interesting character named Irene. Irene is supposed to be the counterpart to Jolene and then you have Kira the counterpart to Jotaro and then we have Josuke 8 and then I don't think that Josuke 8 would be the dad to Irene but counterparts and all is an iffy topic that goes down a spiraling drain when wanting to connect points. The future of part 8 shows a lot of interest and part 9 has a lot of potential to do so much, more than what we could think of. With how deep Jojo had got, it could go even deeper. The topic of alternate universe is actually not as difficult as it was shown to be, but it's more like a toy railroad track that needs a few pieces. A few pieces until the roads fully connect and it becomes a roundabout. A roundabout with exits and connections to other areas if you will. Now once the roundabout fully connects, we will see what road Araki chooses to enter from which will show us what we have in store for the future. Thank you guys for watching. Sorry for the generally short video, but there's really all when on the topic of alternate universes. There's more when it comes to explaining stuff in JoJo, but I would like to ask you guys specifically when wanting to get onto a topic. There will be a poll on the top right for specific topics in JoJo. You guys pick which one. And I will make more content on Stone Ocean since I had realized that there's a lot of good when on the topic of this part. People really have a grip with this part and it's understandable on some, some parts of it, but there will always be good when it comes to JoJo. But thank you guys again. I'll see you guys in the next one. So peace out and Godspeed.